Okay, let's look at editing or creating features in, in, in the line layer. It's very similar to creating points, but there are a few more tools available to us. Again, we are going to be creating uh, roads um, in this line feature that is in the database here. Uh, and there we have our roads, but clicking there doesn't actually make much difference. We want to bring up the Create Features tool, which is here under Edit. Um, I have it over here, Create Features. Um, and I want to select roads there. It's roads that I'm going to edit. What sort of road is this? Um, well, that's a good question. Uh, let's start here. I can just start editing if I want, uh, but I think what I'll do, if, we, if that will allow me, is I'll click on the little blue arrow there to access the, the, the data here, and I'll call that a B road. Um, the maximum speed I will set to 50, just for a laugh. The width I haven't measured yet, so we can come back to that later. Uh, leave that at that, go back there, and now let's start creating our features, uh, if it would allow me. Thank you. I want to start there. So we click there, and click there, and click there, and it's all looking a bit, you know, it's, yeah, all right, fine. And then we get to the road, and then, is that right? If we're not happy with that, I mean, it does look pretty awful, doesn't it? Um, so we can right click and we can just click on cancel. So let's say we want to do a better job. Well, how could we do a better job? Um, well, there's this tool here, because that was just straight lines. This is also these geometry tools where we can start doing, we can start creating nodes along our line using the geometry of other features. Or there's something called the Bezier curve here. These curve features, they might be all right um, if you have a strict curve that doesn't change. Um, but if you actually have a, a curved line that changes the, the, its radius gradually as it goes through, which is common on roads, the clotoid uh, formation, uh, then you, you, you're probably better off using the, the Bayesian curve. Um, but let's see the difference between them by Drawing a straight line, we'll do a, we'll draw a straight line from there to there, over the bridge, and then we'll do a Bezier curve around there. So if we just click is it there in the middle of the road, and we, how do we get this to be nice? So let's click there. Let's keep the distances short in the curves to make a, a slightly nicer curved line, and we get to to the bridge, which is about there, I think. Right click, and then we just click on finish. So we've created that. And then over the bridge, um, we start here. Well, oh, hang on, that's convenient. So our snapping is on. If we look here, we have a tool called snapping. That allows us to snap to uh, parts of existing features. And in this case, we've got the end of the road there. And oh, there's a node there or a vertex, a vertex there. And there's another one there. And we get to the end of the road there. There are other things we can snap to in this tool, or we can just turn snapping off entirely. If we turn it off entirely, then it doesn't find it. But if we click snapping on, and then here we can see that we can find our road. So now we want to build the next section uh, that starts at exactly the end of the road there, and goes over to there, say, and we right click, and finish, and that's going to be a bridge. Now that suggests that maybe we want to do something else, a different code there, but we'll come back to editing the attributes of these in a later video. Now let's have a look at using the Bezier curve. We click on there, and we want to go around this bend. Usually less is more when it comes to Bezier curves. Start there, click there, and then there, and if we bend that, there, uh, sort of there ish, and then there ish, and then finish. Sort of, maybe that's all right. Okay, so now we've got our Bezier curve in there, we've got a curved road. As we can see, this curve here is kind of angular, and here we've got a more of a curved road. 
So that's creating mime features and let's just clear that so they're no longer selected and click on save. Yes, 